Killer bees are often referred to as Africanized bees, though they are similar to ones in Europe. While Africanized bees and honeybees may look similar, they differ greatly in how they react when disturbed. If you're curious about what would happen if you disturbed a hive of Africanized bees, be aware that it could be fatal. Africanized bee colonies are well known for their ability to defend their hives. If you disturb one of these colonies, you'll quickly find out just how aggressive they can be. Thousands of bees will swarm you, and their venom can be quite dangerous. However, it's important to remember that the venom of these bees isn't any more potent than that of a regular honeybee. It's all about the quantity of stings you receive. The main differences between a killer bee and a honeybee lie in their size, colonies, hive defense, swarming behavior, and nesting site preferences. To the untrained eye, the two types of bees can appear very similar. During the 1950s, scientists imported the African honeybee to Brazil to boost honey production. However, 26 queens escaped by accident and thrived in Brazil's native environment, crossbreeding with European honeybees and creating the killer bee. Africanized bees originally migrated to South and Central America, but have since spread to the southwestern United States and Florida. Africanized bees are far more aggressive than European honeybees. It's important to understand the difference between these two types of bees in order to avoid being stung. <laughs> There are a few key differences between African and European honeybees, one of which is colony size. African killer bee colonies typically contain 15,000 bees, while honeybee colonies from Europe can have 60,000. Another difference is the number of soldier bees present in a colony. While an African bee colony may have 2,000 soldiers ready to protect an attack, this number is usually lower in European colonies. Africanized honeybees are more defensive of their hive than European honeybees. Africanized honeybees will produce more drones. They also have a higher ratio of guards to queen bee. 200 warriors guard the hive in most honeybee colonies, but both groups have only one queen bee. <laughs> Killer bees are far more defensive than honeybees. If you disturb their hive, they will send out hundreds of guard bees to follow you for up to 120 feet. If they see you as a threat, 
you can expect to be stung anywhere from 100 to 1,000 times. African bees are much more alert to danger than European bees, reacting in just a few seconds. Killer bees can stay agitated for days after an encounter, while honey bees usually calm down after about 20 minutes. Killer bees and regular honeybees actually have the same amount of venom. The main difference between them is that killer bees will attack in higher numbers if they feel like they are being threatened. So, if someone gets stung by a lot of killer bees, the amount of poison can be severe and even deadly. It's not that their venom is more potent, it's simply that there is more of it. Killer bees are more aggressive than other types of bees, meaning that they swarm more often. However, each swarm has fewer individual bees. This is because they don't need a large cavity to establish a nest. Instead, they often nest in man-made structures, like water meter boxes. Killer bees can also cope with warm climates, so their invasion is limited by cooler temperatures. <laughs> Honeybees are attracted to hollow tree cavities because they provide a larger volume of nesting space for storing honey. To keep their queen safe and allow the colony to flourish, they seek warm, dry settings in isolated locations.